Are we living through a mass extinction? Do you think our government is so good-natured that they just let immigrants flood across the border? Just pull yourself up by the bootstraps and join us! That's when it all started. That's when they got people that benefited off of unions, free college, good schools, pensions, to turn against those very programs. How do you get Americans to turn against programs that they literally rely on to survive? Equality. Let me clue you in. People were okay with it when people like them were benefiting. But as soon as the doors of equality started to open up, it was very easy to convince people to vote against those programs. They're coming to take what's yours. Right. The boomers willfully voted to take that money out of the hands of American citizens and put it into the pockets of wealthy individuals. They didn't care that it was screwing their kids over. While this was happening, the boomers were benefiting because their wages were going up. They were matching inflation. They were able to afford things. They were able to afford a middle-class lifestyle. The government cut taxes on corporations so investors could get rich. Meanwhile, it wasn't covering their bills. But the illusion at the time was that people were able to afford more, their paychecks were more, because at that time in the 80s, that was true. Once they essentially defunded all these programs, you know, that became the new threshold and the deficit was huge. Neither party tried to undo any of that. And to this day, neither party is trying to undo any of that. We have generations that aren't reproducing because they can't afford to. We have the most educated population in history who is working twice as much as their parents did, yet can't even afford the basic necessities that their parents could on a working class income. Gee, I wonder why people aren't having kids anymore. And of course, the wealthy idiots pulling the strings aren't going to reach into their pockets to pay off their debts. They'll just pull more and more people in because they don't care what the people look like. The wealthy elite know how to weaponize Americans' racism to make them vote against their own best interests. They've been doing it forever. Why has inflation spiked so much recently? Take a look at where $800 billion went during COVID. You might have got a thousand bucks, but Kanye got like two million. Tom Brady got a million. A lot of Trump's attorneys made out really well. Trump presidency just magnified what was already happening for the past 40 years and put it into hyperspeed. He ain't lying about who he is. Out of the deal, it's all about convincing people that their best interest is your best interest. And during Trump's presidency, people in rural America were like, we're doing great, we're doing fine. It's you stupid people living in cities. You should just move out here and become a carpenter. You know, that whole attitude, COVID meant that people weren't tied to a city anymore. And a lot of these affordable areas got an influx of wealthy people and they ain't affordable anymore. Very easy to blame it on the guy with Alzheimer's in the White House right now. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's not either party. Both parties are working to keep this machine alive. Basically, the boomers rigged the economy against future generations of workers, and they don't give a fuck because they made out. We have two old men that represent the status quo competing for the job. Trump just has the ability to run us into the ground immediately because he is not held accountable by his supporters at all. Really think that Joe Biden could get away with stealing billions of dollars from American people and giving it away to his friends? Mm -mm. For Trump, that's just another day of fake news in the Democrat witch hunt. <laughs> the other one is putting band-aids on wounds, but not really changing anything, not really fixing the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is greed. Unregulated capitalism. The boomers who are so hard against any type of handouts prospered from having the most handouts in the history of the fucking world. But they like to gaslight other generations into thinking that they were this hard-working, smart people. They're not. 